I sometimes have people who come on my training days ask what an exposure is. Now some of you may think that's a very basic question, which it is. However, if you're ever unsure of the basics, it's worth asking. There's a lot of misinformation and gossip spoken on forums and chat rooms and occasionally in magazines. The basics can sometimes be lost in the technicalities. An exposure is an amount of light needed against your camera sensor in order to record an image. Whenever you press the shutter button, you're making an exposure. What you're doing is opening a kind of two-stage tap whereby light gushes up through the lens to splash against the sensor and the image is recorded. Your camera is equipped with its own built-in light meter and for the most part it will manage the exposure for you and do a pretty good job on average tones, on average pictures, on average days. But occasionally you the photographer may need to step in and take control of your exposure. Do something different. For example, I'm standing here in the shade so Jane has set the film camera with an exposure for me in the shade. Look behind me where the sun is shining in the bright patches, it's completely overexposed, it's burnt out. If I went and stood in the sunny bit without Jane changing the exposure, I'd be burnt out too. So there is a choice to be made. There's also another choice to be made for creative purposes. Uh, that's good. No, it looks fine. The correct exposure is whatever you want it to be. For example, I'm standing in here and it's a bit darker than it is out there. If Jane wanted to, she could expose for out there. And I'll go dark. And then back again. So the correct exposure in this case is for in here, for me. So, if I want to take a couple of shots of Lorna, happy pictures tend to be brighter pictures. So I could up the exposure just subtly a bit to try and get that happy sunshine feel into a picture. Ah, uh -huh. right. That's really great. Turn your face that way just a little. Only a bit. There you go. Look. Oh, look. Come on. Excellent. Fantastic. Happy Lorna. Now, if we want to do moody Lorna, we could turn that down a bit. I'm going to go to uh, minus a third of a stop just to give it that little moody edge. So, for this one, that's it. Just put your chin down slightly. Turn your eyes up. Down with your chin a little more. Excellent. That's it. 